Welcome to our study guide course, Laws of Arrest in California. During this course, I will explain what will be covered and how it will be covered for your examination. You will be able to recognize a peace officer's responsibility in relation to the protections and rights included in the following amendments to the U.S. Constitution and related California constitutional sections, the Fourth Amendment, the Fifth Amendment, the Sixth Amendment, and the Fourteenth Amendment. You'll be able to recognize a peace officer's responsibility in relation to the protections included under this civil rights statutes. Civil action for deprivation of rights or under color of the law, U.S. Code, Title 42, Section 1983. You'll be able to recognize appropriate conduct during a consensual encounter, conduct that may elevate a consensual encounter, the consequences of elevating a consensual encounter, reasonable suspicion, appropriate peace officer actions during a detention, the scope and conditions for warrantless searches and seizures during a detention, conditions where the use of force or physical restraint is appropriate during a detention, when there is probable cause to arrest, information that must be given to an arrested person, elements of a warrantless arrest for a felony, elements of a warrant arrest, the requirements for entry into a dwelling to make an arrest, the authority for a private person's arrest, and the peace officer's duty in response to a private person's arrest, conditions under which the use of force or physical restraint is appropriate during an arrest, the statutory requirements for the disposition of an arrested person, the exceptions to the powers to arrest, when Miranda warnings must be given, the impact of invoking the right to remain silent, and the right to counsel, the types of Miranda waivers, and the exceptions to the Miranda rule. You will be able to differentiate between a detention and a consensual encounter, an arrest and a detention, an interview and an interrogation, an admission and a confession. You will be able to identify elements of a lawful arrest, the purpose of an interrogation, and the conditions under which a confession or admission may be inadmissible in a court. This is more than likely all you'll be tested on during this specific written examination. Selected information from this course examination will also appear on your mid-course and end-of-course proficiency exams.